we're live. Hey guys, this is Marcel Ernie. So today has been a theme of live videos on YouTube. Hopefully you're enjoying them. Uh, MB and I are heading cross country while we're heading south from Canada. Oh, we've got a bad connection. Hopefully it sticks to it. Um, there's the camper. That's my home, you know, for the next uh, long time. <laughs> and uh, here we are at KFG Motorsports. So we're gonna go see April Russell and Barry Russell, who is my suspension guy. So, you know, and uh, I'm gonna bring him an Ernie Racing hat as well. Hopefully, I think he wears hats. And see Barry and pick up my forks. I'm picking up a set of forks, my spare forks that are refreshed, ready to go. I'm gonna throw them on Emrys. And because, you know, I crashed Emrys and one of the issues I was having with was the front suspension. The whole bike was getting out of sorts on the brakes and that's when I essentially I couldn't brake maximum because the bike got out of control and then I had to let off the brakes and then I'm coming too fast in the corner and then I lose the rear end doing extreme lean angle and that's what ended up sending me off track when I lost the rear end stood the bike up and then straight off track at the tire wall so I'm gonna try a different fork setup and uh, hopefully I get it all sorted out so anyways this is KFG Racing this is uh, in Washington um, where the hell are we? Auburn, Auburn, Washington. All right, let's go. Let's go check it out. Let's see what's going on in here. Yes, there she is. There's April behind the counter. All right. So here we are. They got some novice bikes, ZX10. Oh yes, of course, the Peter Lenz, uh, his bike. Yeah. Um, Anyways, April's a little busy. And uh, let's go explore the shop. Well, this is a suspension room. No, nope. Stefan. Hey, nice mustache. Thanks, man. Yeah, let's get a shot of that. Look this way again. Zoom in on that. I mean, it's good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> All right, we'll continue on. Is Barry here? Right here. Oh, Barry is Marcel. Where are you? Marcel. You're not, you're not, you're wearing clothes, right? And we're doing live video here. So, I just you... got done eating lunch. <laughs> Good. That's supposed to surprise me, is live video. <laughs> and you're reading up on the news, huh? Yeah, I was seeing what he had to say about the initial launch. Perfect, I got you a hat. Oh, look at that. You wear hats, right? Yeah. Yeah, put her on, see how, look. I figure red would work with your colors. Uh, yeah. yeah. On top it's not sized right. No, you can adjust it. It's unreal. Yeah. This for a kid? No, it's... I have a small head. <laughs> it's for... Well, it could be for a kid. You could, your kid could wear it too. So we're live on YouTube. I've just started doing YouTube live videos. Nice. I was just at Nell's, dynoed both my bikes. How'd that go? Merlin is down on power, which I knew from me when I was racing in Washington. I always felt like when I went on the other bike, the, the one I didn't ride all year, like the one I was trying to sell. But, mm -hmm. So 2,000 kilometers versus 7,000, right? Nice. And the bike lost like six horsepower over 7,000 kilometers. That's not too bad. Yeah, so... Um, when are you gonna start making black ones? Oh, I, do you want do you want a black one instead? Yeah, I mean, I like black. Okay, well I'll take I'll take that back <laughs> and I'll get you a black hat. That'll Thanks. work. And um, it's just in the tray there. I gotta pull it out. And I'm picking up my forks. Yep. And um, so yeah, anyways, uh, Merlin was like 186 horsepower and Emrys is like 193. So that's the difference over like an extra 5,000 kilometers of track. That's nice. Yeah. So eventually I gotta rebuild the motor probably and if I want to yeah. get it back up. Hopefully you can go faster. Yeah, that's right. So I'm heading to Chuckwalla. You're going to do some racing? I'm going to do a CVMA, December 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Nice. And, um, and then from there, I'm going to fly to Bangkok for three months and travel Malaysia, Thailand, Laos. Hmm. Just because, you know, I'm a wanderer. I live in the RV, so what am I going to do? I'm just going to not stick around here. I would go to the sunshine. The sunshine what? Go south. Where it's sunny. Oh, the thing is, it can't be in the U.S. for too long as a Canadian. I uh, can't be in the U.S. more than six months, so then I use all my days up, right? <clears throat> Gotcha. So I'm going to fly in. in Thailand. I can fly down there for 500 bucks per person. That's cheap. Yeah. And then live for cheaper too on food. So rent street bikes. Yeah, I'll be making videos out there in the east. Nice. Anyways, uh, let's go check out these forks. Let's go get the forks. I'll get you a hat. I think they're uh, in the Dunn room. Yeah, probably. That's our new suspension dyno. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what you were talking about before. Nice. I was running that this morning, checking on a 
You can do the stock shock and a K Tech shock. Did a before and after. And so this thing goes up and down just pretty quick, like when you visualize yeah. it. And yeah. And then you can do like you have all these different runs essentially or yep. simulations. Yep. You can um, you can go through the clickers to kind of see the effects. You know, sometimes one click is uh, <clears throat> is is plenty, and sometimes you have to go three. I mean, it just oh yeah. So it'd be kind of neat to put the nitrogen shocks on there one day if I had time, and yep. and to see like what the adjustments are actually doing, right? Yeah, it has a live feature too, so you know, it'll run continuously while you're adjusting the clicks, and you can see it on the laptop what it's doing. Cool. You can see how much yeah. resistance it's pulling on there. You know, you can it can detect. Uh, you know, you can get. You know, it does a station test on your shock. It does uh, a gas test that tells you how much pressure is in it. Um, it can tell you, like, it can, as long as you know how to read the data, it can tell you if you have a, if your shaft on your shock is bent or something that's not right. It can detect that. It'll detect it because of the drag? Yep. Oh, nice, nice. Yep. It's, right. uh, <clears throat> so if it has, like, low nitrogen pressure, it has, definitely has a, uh, uh, feature on there that tells you that you're this low, so you don't have to measure it before you put it on there. And just try. Perfect, perfect. Do we have any uh, movement on my other set of forks? Yeah, I was just up at uh, Wasco, Wasco Frame, and he had them on his bench, and he was working on them when I was All there. right, so he's going at them again. All right, guys. So this would be good. Get a set of forks on Amherst here. This is our outgoing section here. Oh yeah, I have my case here somewhere too. There's one. All fixed. Nice. All right. Oh, your spacer's coming out. Don't want to lose that. Anyways, guys, this is Marcel Artie. We're at KFG Motorsports. Uh, make sure to give a thumbs up and like the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And from here, um, we're gonna head south. Um, go pick up my new laptop in Oregon, and so I can edit these videos better than this. Yeah. 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 All right. All right, Barry, catch you later. See ya. All right. Do you wish you want to stop streaming?